to me, there's a sort of dark secret at the centre of him, which is sort of to do with why he's doing what he's doing. It's not a sense of honour or justice. He's doing it to get out of his own head. So much of the first series was about actually seeing him not just have to face the past, but kind of have to face the past in a rather exposing way. And there's even more of that at the beginning of this. I wanted him to feel that, that he was looser, that something could just, there was something less held. In every other way, he's become closer, become more open with the others. One of the reasons he can't get away from the lady is because he's trying to. He actually literally can't get away because she keeps turning up. But, but actually, we said that there was a, a gap of several months between the first season and the, sec and, and the second season. One of the things I spoke about with Adrian was maybe the idea that actually I'd missed her. However, it's actually something he won't admit. A, seeing her again is, there's almost the comfort zone familiarity to that however difficult it is, but also perhaps misplaced optimism that maybe she has changed. If, if, if only in that episode, and if only <laughs> one beat in a scene. But these are the moments of ambiguity that you have to really seek out and embrace because the show is, you know, it, it has a very strong infrastructure. Its infrastructure is that it, it has a story of the week, but I, I really do believe that it, it thrives on these, it, not moments of ambiguity for us, because I think we have to decide what's going on, but, but for the audience, the most obvious moments like that for me are with Milady. The moment where I hear about um, Milady and the King, I think it would probably make him feel physically sick. In series one is the beat, I realise that her and D'Artagnan have had some sort of liaison, but I think, interestingly, it was a beat that in my head almost didn't matter to him. There's something about the nature of his friendship with D'Artagnan and his projection of D'Artagnan as an aspect of himself, which means that it's, it's almost not an issue. With anybody else, it would be a massive issue. And I think particularly with Louis, because he, 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 he has in mind why she's doing it. And it's, for, if not the worst possible of motives, then, you know, pretty desperate motives in terms of ensuring her livelihood as, uh, as a person of means. He doesn't like that at all. He finds it very difficult. You do see that in his, the way he talks to her when they have a haphazard chance meeting. There's the line in the novel where it says, Althos smiles but never laughs, which is something I really kind of uh, tried to keep all the way through season one and initially all the way through this season and it got to episode five when I was really looking at Athos at his most low, at his most fragile, at his most exposed, also at his most unpleasant. I suddenly thought I'm missing a trick here and there was a flashback actually in that, in that episode and I thought it'd be good to see him laugh and then we see the old him and actually that flashback when we got there on the day you know it became something very different, actually, and not that, and in a way something darker. But I thought, actually, it'd be good to get that moment somewhere else, and maybe in the present. And so it was a moment I found with Luke in a sort of Stygian um, cellar. I suddenly thought, this is a perfect moment. It, it just made sense to have it there. And also, rather than that being some sort of like low point that he then just unravels from and becomes all light and love and whatever, He's actually quite nasty to D'Artagnan. Moments later, everything kind of comes back in again. So that was a really great moment, just to, just, just, you know, to sort of, in the, in the whole arc of the character. That was very easily slotted into another scene, and uh, I like the simplicity of it. Just finding moments where I'm actually stating what's going on inside me to, to the other musketeers, which I don't really do in the first season, and just clocking that and going, this is a nice development of that.